I've added a few new features to the Get Files and Folders Properties action in Tasker. In this simple example, I'm listing all the files and folders inside the Tasker folder and then merging the results and showing, showing them in the dialog. I haven't specified any filters or sorting, so, and I've enabled recursive, so all this does now is get all of the files and folders inside this folder and show it to me. So as you can see, I have 262 files and folders inside it, and in a recursive manner, so you can see that it goes inside the tasker folder but it also then goes into the factory folder, kids folder, etc. Now I have a bunch of new options that I can set. For example, I can filter and show just these kinds of files or folders. For example, I can show only empty folders. And as you can see, it set the filter there. And if I use this, I can see that I have five empty folders. I can also enable some other filters like for example uh, not hidden folders so don't count the hidden folders and then I only have four of these. I can select only videos or images. Let's see if I only select images. I get back nine results of images I have in that folder. And then I can also sort these results by multiple value, by multiple um, criteria. For example, I can sort it by name. Let's see how that works normal. So alphabetically sort these by name. So the first one starts with a 0, the second one with a 3, this, the other one with an F, then an H, and so on. I can also sort them by size and make it reversed. And as you can see you can have multiple sort criteria and what this does is it first sorts by this and then by this. So if two files have the same name, you can then sort them, those, by size. But in this case, I don't have files with the same name, so let's just sort by size. And as you can see, the first file, oh, and by the way, this is the size of the file. The first file is the, is the largest one then smaller, smaller, and smaller. And you can sort by all of these. So for example, I can get the most recent ones, reverse, delete the size reversed sort, and these are the most recent ones. I can Uh, sort by number of files for example and get the folders with the most number of files in them. If I run this you can see oh let me just get <laughs> remove the image filter otherwise you won't get any folders. So if I do this you can see that the first one has 140 files in it, so it appears here, and then you get all the other ones. So with this, you get you are able to get multiple properties of multiple files and folders with filters and sorting and recursiveness, all in one simple action, and you're able to get this info very easily. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.